This is Blend Club for August 2023. Today's tobacco that we're going to be reviewing is Molte Dolce. Molte Dolce. So let's take a look at it, see what we can find out. All right. So today is going to be um, our review. This is again an aromatic by Sutliff. It's called Molte Dolce. It's got a cool looking, cool looking uh, tin art to it. Uh, this tobacco has been around quite a while. So, uh, so the first thing we want to do is want to. We want to look at some information about the blend that's provided by SmokingTobaccoReviews.com. Uh, All right, Sutliff Tobacco Company Molte Dolce. Doesn't have a lot of description here, but it's right to the point. Rich and creamy, texture of vanilla, caramel, and honey. Well, you can't argue with that. So let's get some details. The brand is Sutliff Tobacco Company, blended by Carl McAllister, manufactured by Sutliff Tobacco Company. Contents are Black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia. The flavoring is caramel, honey, and vanilla. It's a ribbon cut. The strength is mild. The flavor strength is medium, and the room note is very pleasant. Uh, the taste is also mild to medium. All right, so this year, like I've done before, is I like to open the tin on camera. So that's what we're going to do. It's got a little cap to it. And I'm not really expecting any, uh, any trapped air, but we'll see. We might get surprised. Okay, here we go. No. I didn't hear anything. Okay. So pull off the cover. And that we can throw away. Now, okay, as soon as it opens, like a couple other blends that we have looked at in the past, the smell of tobacco and honey and vanilla just kind of hits you right away. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick our nose in here and see what we can smell, which we can already smell it. So, Whew, man, that is powerful. I smell the honey and I smell, smell the vanilla. A little bit of tobacco, tobacco. Uh, let's see. Uh, the caramel. Yeah, I can smell the caramel as well. Hmm. Very unique. Very, very potent. Very, um, what can you say? Very, um, stout blend when it comes to the, the, um, the smell. Now, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's got some real dark black tobacco. That's going to be your Cavendish. It's going to have some brown. It should have some dark brown and light brown. Dark brown and light brown. But it only has the dark brown. And I think I know the dark brown would be from, um, from the, hold on a second, I'll tell you. From the burley and then the black cavendish is the the black and then there should be light brown representing the uh, virginia but there's not and i know why so next thing we're going to do as you can see it is a ribbon cut and it's a true ribbon cut it's not shag or anything um, thicker or or uh, thinner it's just a perfect ribbon cut. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the moisture, see what the moisture is. 
Now here's where it's going to be a little bit different. So pull it out. Now this one, the moisture is not bad. Now if you're doing this along with me, go ahead and do it with me. Let's mix it up a little. Ooh. Kind of going everywhere. Okay, so now what I want you to do is I want you to take your pan and smell your fingers. Whew. So here's the thing about Molte Dolce that I have found in the past. And you might have found one. You might have one. This one's not too bad. But I don't like using this word but I don't know of another word to use to describe it. But I have had Molte Dolce to where the, um, the casing, the, the caramel, uh, the vanilla, and the honey are so thick, they put it on so thick that it feels slimy. And it, you might have one that feels that way, kind of slimy. This one's not too bad. Maybe it's because I bought it at the beginning of the year and it's, you know, eight, nine months old. So it's not quite bad, but that casing, it really comes off on your hand. So uh, just be aware that you might have to have some kind of like a paper towel or something to wipe your hand off. But like I said, sometimes it's kind of slimy, but this one's not too bad. Now, if it is slimy, here's what I suggest. Get one of these and you take the tobacco and you spread it out. Sometimes what I've done is taken paper towels and line the bottom of this. And then I pour the tobacco and kind of, you know, spread it out. And then I take another paper towel, paper towel and I push down on it and that will get, and you will see it, it comes that a lot of that, um, Casing will come off on the paper towel. So just in case you're like, well, how do I get rid of that casing? So much of that casing. That's how you do it. Line it with paper towels. Spread out the tobacco. Get another couple of paper towels. Put on top and just kind of press down. Press down, press down, press down, press down. Now, because it's got so much casing, it's likely to stick to the top paper towel. So make sure that you're able to kind of flake that off back into and then you do the same thing to the bottom. So that's how you deal with that. All right. Now, another thing I want to warn you about is because Molte Dolce has so much casing, um, it becomes what I want to call a goopy mess. What that means is that you'll smoke it and then after you're done smoking and you take the ash out, you'll notice at the bottom, there's like a pool of like goop, you know, uh, weird looking stuff. So I have made the mistake in the past that I use a pipe that I really like and I put this in it. Well, it takes a while to get that goop out and to burn off that so much of that uh, casing um, that uh, you know I can still smoke I can still smoke or still taste multi dolce with a couple of other blends like if I did a straight Virginia uh, or um, let's say uh, another aromatic I can still taste it after one or two maybe even three smokes afterwards. So what I would suggest is that you either one use a corn cob pipe. Now a corn cob pipe is inexpensive and you can kind of do, you know, that's a, a pipe that I use for tobaccos that are like that. Or you can get a pipe that you're not really attached to. Uh, this one is a pipe that I'm not too attached to. Uh, I like it, but I mean, and, and I can smoke it and get that multi dolce out of there. But I don't want to smoke one of my premium pipes, like one that's called, 
and I don't have that many that are this price, but let's just say you don't want to take a $1,500 pipe that you have, put multi dolce in it, and then have to sit there and struggle two or three, four pipe pulls to try to get rid of it. So try to find an inexpensive pipe that you, maybe if you're now a seasoned pipe smoker and you're, you bought your first pipe that's a barrel pipe for $35. You still have it, but you don't really smoke it that much. That's the pipe to use with multi dolce because again, it's got so much of the casing that it really penetrates. It didn't penetrate the bowl, but it covers uh, the sides of the bowl to where it takes a bit to get that burnt off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and fill the pipe. Uh, the, and also, uh, because this, I mean, from for this one, um, the moisture is a little bit up there. Uh, it's not quite, it's a little bit wet. It's not, I mean, it's close, but uh, it really does have a lot of the um, casing on it that may, may be, in my opinion, mistaken for moisture. So it may take me a little bit to get this going because I've got to kind of get that moisture or that uh, casing burn, uh, burn off. And then we'll see what we can taste here. But that's the thing about multi dolce is it's just really rich in all those casings. Uh, it's a good tobacco. I mean, it's very popular. It's been around forever. Um, so a lot of people like it. All right, I think that's going to be good enough. Let me see my draw. Uh, draws a little light. That's better. All right. Well, let's light it up and see what we got. Now, I don't know if you could, if you heard that, but something that's inherent to multi dolce. Is it, it's like Rice Krispies. It pops, crackles, and snaps when you're lighting it. So try to listen, turn up the TV or turn up your, to, to see if you can hear it. You hear it? Yeah. See how difficult it is to to light. Still not lit. Hmm. 
Looks like I finally got it. What did that take? Five or six times? It's still snapping and crackling. And you'll notice that when you try it out for yourself. The honey and the caramel are competing to see who's driving the bus. Vanilla's in the mix. Honey and the caramel, they mix together to make a unique taste. But it's hard to pinpoint because You have so much. You have the caramel, the honey, the vanilla as toppings. You have Cavendish, black Cavendish, that has a unique unique taste as on its own. Um, and then the Virginia for the sweetness. Now, thing about this tobacco also is it is one of those tobaccos where you have to constantly be aware. Because unless you get it, get a lot of that flavoring or the topping removed, you constantly got to keep puffing on it. Because if you don't, it'll go out and you're constantly relighting. It's good. It's a it's a good smoke. It's a, a unique uh, with all the different flavorings that it has. Very unique. Sometimes it has a honey taste. Sometimes it has a honey and a caramel taste. Sometimes the vanilla sneaks in there. Cavendish sneaks in there. Finally got it going. See how I got it going? Because I'm able to use breath method to keep it stoked. This is one of those blends where you either hate it or you love it. And then there's those of us like me 
who could take it or leave it. Uh, it's not. Now, something else that you've got to be aware of is that you've got to make sure to watch your bowl not get overheated because there's so much topping that that topping burns hot, along with the Virginia. Uh, I'm not sure how much the Virginia is in there. We're trying to keep the tobacco lit because of all the topping in the Virginia. Sometimes you find yourself trying to stoke it too much and then it ends up heating your bowl up. So just be aware of that. Okay. Well, that's it for Malted Dolce. Um, this also something that you can do is if you, if you, like with me, I had it to where it was enough to uh, it was dry enough to where I could put it into, into a pipe and go ahead and smoke it. But I'm going to leave it in the tin for a week and see how, see if it's dried a little bit. Not, I'll keep going, I'll keep, I'll keep keeping it in this tin until it gets to a point where it's not, it seems a little bit drier to me. Then I'll put it into uh, a canning jar. All right, so now my rating. Now, again, for you guys, um, let's talk about the, this. I'm not, I beat this dead horse every time, but the way I want you to leave your rating is this. I want you to give, first give me a rating in emojis. Um, if you are part of, if you have signed up to be a member of, of um, um, the Mutton Chai Piper, you'll have your own emojis that was part of that sign up for membership. So use those, they're little pipes. Um, you can use um, uh, skulls, crossbones, smiley faces, whatever. I use smiley faces. So leave a rating first, then give a short synopsis of what you thought of the blend. Was it, was it too wet, uh, you know, too, too much topping? Um, you don't like aromatics, whatever you want to put down, just make it constructive so new pipe smokers can read it and say, okay, I understand what this blend, blend is all about. And I want you to leave the rating because if someone is just new to pipe smoking, I want to see what kind of tobacco they want to try. They can just kind of scroll down through there and see the majority of the ratings. If they're threes, fours, and fives, that may be something they want to get. If it's ones or twos, they might want to hold off on that one. Okay, so with that being said, my rating for Multi Dolce is going to be a three. Now, let me explain why I only give it a three. It's too much work, in my opinion. Too much work. Um, you've got to dry it out if it's too wet. You've got to try to sop up a lot of that topping that's on it. Um, it's difficult to light. You saw me five, six times. Um, it's difficult to keep lit as you're smoking it. Um, I love the tobacco, though. It tastes great, uh, but it's just too much work, in my opinion. Pipe smoking's already a lot of work, so to add more to the tobacco being difficult is just a little bit for me to deal with. So out of all the blends that we have been doing this year, this is the only three I've given, but that's why, because it's just a lot of work. All right, well, that's it for Blend Club for this month. Um, sorry it was a little bit late. We've had some uh, sickness that we've had to deal with, uh, but we're over that now, uh, and we present this August um, uh, blend club uh, for your enjoyment. Also, I want to remind you that um, Sleepy Hollow um, is available now. Um, so make sure that you call. The only way to get it is call the number. You can find the number. Um, go back to where I showed you uh, the list for this year and the number for 
Sleepy Hollow will be on there for the tobacco to so you can get the tobacco. So make sure that you're ready by October uh, for Sleepy Hollow. Okay, that's it for Blend Club for August. Uh, I guess we'll see you back in September. I want to wish that every tobacco that you smoke is a sweet one. <music>